Well, it started in a small alcove, a little eight by eight alcove that we had in a house, and then we, we expanded to the basement. And that's when we hired our first uh, staff member, which was Kara Stripmatter. And uh, from the basement, uh, we started to outgrow that, and we were able to get uh, free space in the basement of the bank that I dealt with. And so we moved into the basement of the bank. And three months after we had everything set up, the bank manager came to me and says, I have bad news. And I said, what? And they said, we've rented the space. You have to move out. And so I knew the owner, Gordon Kidd, of the office buildings where we first moved to. And so he made us a very good offer and we relocated to the bottom floor of that building. And then as you know, we moved to the top floor and expanded two or three times. So it just kept growing as we added more, more staff, as we started to expand, as we started to get involved with the National um, Organization of Rare Disorders, we got involved with other organizations, we got involved with the National Institutes of Health, we started traveling to Washington, D.C. to talk to members of Congress, we started to talk with representatives from the Department of Defense, we started to get people engaged. And again, trying to answer those initial questions, you know, when people would say, mito what? We had to make sure that they understood what mitochondria was, what it did, and what happens when it gets disease. So it was uh, covering a lot of bases at a lot of different times.